So this right here is passive form. So, so with passive form, there's a very interesting thing that happens when verbs end with oo. So when you're replacing oo with an ah sound, what happens is that rather than making it into just ah, so with all other ones, you normally get like, if you do this place with e, e is there. If you place it with o, o is now there. I just threw a moth character. But if this right here, you make wa instead. So you don't, so you don't say ia. That's disgusting. You say iwa. Hi. Hi. So yeah, how do you, how would you say um, you to say into passive form? Turn it into e. Iwareru. Uh, Iwareru. That is exactly what you do. I'm going to quickly exit this screen so I can get my Japanese writing ability. Perfect. Hi. Can you read this sentence for me? Yes. So iwarete mo. Hi. So this right here is made up as a word. Like I think it shows up in the dictionary, funnily enough because English speakers have trouble with these. But this is literally just normal grammar. We have so, iwarete, and then mo plus te form. Any guesses what this means? Iware. So, if, uh, so, this is the passive form of to say something. So, right. some subject is unintentionally, without any volition, without any, um, intention behind it say something in that way so even even having say that thing yes exactly so even with that being said um with passive form of you a lot of times this will be translated as to be told because someone else says this and you hear it you want to do so it's saying even with being told that so that's even with being told and then so is that so that's exactly what it says. So even being told that. So we want a demo. Okay. Let's go read our line from the book. We got con ticket again. So many thoughts. So we want a demo. Oshieru tsumori wa nai no de ha kata o sukumete gomakashita. Okay. Um, shrugging. Sukume de koma. Shrugging to deceive. Shrug shrugging in a de deceptive uh, manner. Right. Um, osieru having no intention of telling. Um. Okay. So even having say. Even having heard that, having no intention of telling, I shrug my shoulder in a, in a deceptive yes gesture. Exactly. <laughs> so the last thing he was told was, "Hmm, I haven't heard your name, have I?" Am I o na? So it's like, even though he told me that, I had no intentions of telling him my name. Right, right here, yeah. Mada na o na. He's like, I don't need to tell you my name. Um, how is this guy read? Right, perfect. And do you know this kanji? A store. It is a store. Hi. How is it read on its ten. own? It is read yeah. ten when it's married. It is ya is a different kanji. Ya is um hey ya. Um hey hey ya. No ya will be um that. So for example, honya is a bookstore. So that's a different kanji. That's the ya. So ten is how this is pronounced when it's married, like uh, kisaten, which is a cafe. This guy right here on its own, though, is mise. 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 Hi. Um, do you know what? Yes, a store. Mise. Uh, what does hakobu mean? Do you know? Hakobu. To carry. Yes, to carry. Perfect. Um, can you read this line for me? Yes. Uh mise no shuchin wa yume shi o hakobu. Okay. 
So I carry the dinner, carry the meal. The owner of the store carry the meal, Perfect. carry the food. Yep. Carry the dinner meal. Do you happen to know this kanji? Sara. Perfect. Plate. Nice. Can you read the sentence for me? It is Mise no Jushin Shujin wa Sara o Hakobu. Perfect. To bring the plate. The owner brings the plate. The owner carries the plate. And what's this plate. guy? Yama. Perfect. Mountain. Do you know what Rori means? Yori, meaning um, ingredients. Kind of. It's it's kind of like a way to say... Um, Ryo. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a way to kind of say like the meal, but it's almost more like talking about the dish itself. So like you, Mashi, for example, is very specific in the time. We're eating this meal at dinner time. Ryori is the dish itself, no matter what time it is. It's the cuisine. Would be um the, I think the closest English word cu- cu- cuisine is not spelled like that, um I, but that that's the kind of idea of that word. The um, Pacific food like ramen is always ramen. <laughs> yeah, it, it would probably be a little bit funny to call uh at least uh instant ramen that, but uh yeah, <laughs> Gordy, a meal a cuisine a cuisine. Um, can you read this for me? Yama no yona riori. What does that mean? Okay. Yona is modifying the noun yori. Yona, in that way, the cuisine in the mountain way, the yeah. mountain cuisine, this is a special <laughs> dish that yeah. only occurred in the mountain. That's a good guess, but this is less about location and more like describing it. So it, it could be like the cuisine looks like a mountain, for example. Yamo no yo na ryori might be a, a good way of guessing what it could be. Uh, there's other ways I guess it could be similar to a mountain, but probably not location. Unless you're saying like people who live on the mountains cook food and it looks just a lot like this. Uh, you'd probably add something else here, like uh, Murabito no people or something. That would be like the village see, people. I see. Uh, but that could definitely be used this is... in that way. It just is like uh, similar, kind of, right? So, Rodi, that I is see. like a mountain. So, you would have a little bit different I... down here if we're saying it's like the food from the mountain. Uh, like, perhaps you'd say Yamakara no Yona would be perhaps a way you could express that. Um, which would be like oh, food hi. from the mountain. Hi. Hi, yeah. hi, hi. Most likely in this type of context, it's describing what the food looks like on the plate. Like, got their mashed potatoes piled up. <laughs> piled up food. Hi. So, next is moru. Moru has sara hi. inside of it, and then it has some random stuff on top of it because this means to pile. Hi. To pile on top of to... a plate. Yes. <laughs> To to yama it up to oh, ma- so make it make it into a mountain. Make it into of a food. mountain. Uh, even though this ends with do, it is not a do verb. It is an u verb. So r plus u modu. Okay, this so is evil. why did Japanese do this to the learner? <laughs> so now we have um two gaps missing here. So I want you to say the shop owner piles uh food on the plate piles the cuisine on the plate cuisine on the plate hi so oh, mise no shujin wa riori riori o uh, sara ni yes Moru. perfect exactly perfect Okay, what is the te form of modu? Hey, uva. Hey. Mo. Utsuru. So, motte. Perfect, motte. You know what hiraku means? Hiraku. Hiraku. Mm. It does have a con. Is this still relate to food? 
not is it still related to Okay, I give this up. This is the kanji for it. Hiraku is to open or to be open. Um, to be open. Hi. Okay. Do you know Hiraku. what this kanji is? Kuchi. Hi, mouth. Nice. Do you know what the te form of hiraku is? Te form. Ku. Iite. Hi. Hiraite. Hi. Hiraite. Perfect. So let's go read the sentence. Dorobo wa kuchi o hiraite nanika ga ita. What does this mean? The thief says something. Uh, hiraita. His mouth open and he says something. Exactly. Hi. A lot of times you'll see these commas in Japanese. In general, it's normally better to like translate it in the order of like those kind of clauses into English while doing that backwards build up thing. Cause your backup billets has been helping you a lot, like works super good, but a lot of times you can do them a little bit earlier. So you didn't have to do it in two parts like that. But yeah, I... good, good job. Um, Can you read this? Oh, what the heck did who? I'm going to go forward for a second. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Oh wait, maybe we did learn that word. Do you recognize this kanji? Yes. Okay. <laughs> lined up, lined up. Yes, Naba, yes. Na, uh, na, nada. Na, naranda. Yes, hi. Now, now you get to read the sentence. Hi. Mise o no shujin wa sara o table ni naranda. Hi. Uh, uh, the owner uh, put the plate on the table. Line the plate on the table. Perfect. Hi. Um, do you remember what o to -ru meant? O to shiteru. Nige yo to shitemo. Yo to shitemo. Yo to shitemo. Koko kara da to. Nige yo to shitemo. Mukai ni sugato neveri ni sugu ni tsukumat chao. Okay, I forgot. So, o to shiteru means to attempt to do the verb. And there is a, I think, like a 89% probability you failed the verb. You never completed it. You didn't even start it. Um, it's insinuated by context whether or not this um, actually occurs. But it normally just means to think about or to start it. So this is, um, so here it says, even if I attempted to run. Nigeyo So this mm. is made from something called volational form. Any guesses how to make that o to suru form with iu? Iyo. Hi, iyo. That iyo. Okay. So just a little hint. This right here is the volational form of iu. Iyo to. Um, I mean iyo. it like in to suru in this context. Um, suru. Hi. Suru. So let's Even go say read that. the sentence. Ne Neburi ga nani ka ito ioto kuchio hirai ha sono toki mise no shujin ga rio rio yama no yoni ha mots motta sara o hakonde Kite table ni narabeta. Hi. So you can see here we have these two little commas here to kind of help you separate out this sentence. So it might be nice to start from this guy rather than way at the end. Hi. Um, hiraita sono toki. At that time, uh, hiraita is open. His mouth was open at Nebri mouth was open at that time, uh saying something. Yes, but did he actually say it? Yoto. Oh yo, the volitional form. Yes. Meaning he he want to say something? Yes. So he basically saying so nobody attempted to say something right at the moment his mouth opened. 
something happened. So in other words, he was like, uh, like he's going to say something, but then it, it got interrupted. So he did not yes. yell in this context. Okay. Understood. He attempted to say something, but his mouth opened. So at right, that what, time, time, when he was guy, about to say something, at that time, uh, Mise no Shujinga, the store owner, Ryorio Yama no Yoni, um, a pile of food like a mountain, uh, Motta Sara um, on the plate. Um, he bring, he bring it, hakonde kite. He bring it towards us. Table ni narabeta, and he lined it up on the table. Right, perfect, nice. Yep. So just letting you know, uh, you translated this perfectly, but I just thought to point this out because I wasn't sure, like whether or not you noticed this or not. Uh, so this right here is modifying mota, but the o is not um, a part of this. So I couldn't tell. So just saying he's piling up on the plate. So the plate with stuff piled on it, like a mountain of, and the thing that's piled up is the food. So we have food piled up on the plate like a mountain. But the I'm just saying that specifically the yoni is just modifying the act of piling it, the act that was yeah. it being piled rather than the food itself. Uh, which would have been yama no yo na ryori, which you didn't have the na connecting to the rori. Uh, so here it's just that saying the act of piling the food was like a mountain rather than saying the food itself is like a mountain, which is basically like the same thing, but I just thought I'd point it out just just in case. Yes, that's that's a good point. It's, it was tricky. Like, it's <laughs> how does the act like a mountain? But well, okay, you're okay, piling I guess up that's just... in the way. It's like the way you pile things up. Uh, for example, let's say you had like glass containers and you had like a bunch of them, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna pile these up like a mountain. So you'd pile mm. it up like this, but you're not saying the glass itself looks like a mountain. You're saying the act, the the way you put it, the way you put move the items around makes it look like an item. So it's focusing on the arrangement rather than the physical uh, properties of the glass. Because you could, for example, get a class that looks like this, for example, that's like someone made in their glass blowing class that kind of looks like a mountain, but then at the very, like like a like a beaker, like this is your um, cup. It looks like a mountain and you just pour your drink in here and the water comes up and you're like, aha, we got a mountain themed cup going on. So then you're focusing on the physical characteristics uh, uh, of the item. So yeah, that, that's how they're Got different. It. In this specific context, it's basically the same, you know? But in other contexts, as I mentioned with the glass example, it could be different. Hi. Uh, hi. Uh, do you know what nyoi means? Nyoi, smell. Perfect. Um, Do you recognize this kanji? Yakeru. Perfect. To cook, to burn. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Yaketa. Buta niku wa nioi ga tsuru. Um, it have the sense of um burnt pork. Good guess. It's actually or saying cooked pork. the cooked pork has a scent, rather than saying something. So it's just saying some kind of smell is coming from the cooked pork. This could be a good smell. Could be a bad smell. It's just like the word in English. There is a smell coming off the pork. Uh, if you say it on its own, you might assume it's a bad smell, just the same in English. So if you're just like, hmm, nyoi ga suru, you want to have like, i nyoi ga suru, if you want to specify it's a good smell, you know? You, you need to modify Hi. it so we know, just like in English. Hi. Um, our next word is kawa, which means skin. Um, this isn't really human skin, just so you know, it's like food skin. Food skin. Hi. So kawa. I, I decided you'll be forced to learn kawa. So that's what kawa looks like. Can you read the sentence Hi. for me? Buta niku no kawa wa nioi ga suru. Hi. The pork skin have a smell. Exactly. It smells. Nice. Um. So our next word right here is karikari. 
and is an adverb. So it can take to or it can take suru. Um, and it means crunchy, 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 kari kari. Kari kari. Um, it can also take ni. Um, basically, all verbs could take ni or to, but when you select which one you select changes what it means. So if I said kawa wa kari kari to yakiteiru, this means the way I'm burning it is in a kari kari kind of way. Like that's describing the burning action. With the ni, we're more like saying we burn the kawa so that the kawa turns kari kari. That distinction mm. kind of makes sense. So with this one right wow. here, it's more correct with crunchy, right? You wouldn't say it's a crunchy burning, crunchy burning. That sounds a little bit weird. It burns in a crunchy way. Sounds odd. Uh, maybe popcorn might might be able to do something like that. Um, but if we're just saying I cooked the meat and it got all cutty cutty, you might say this is how I cooked it, like in a instruction book, saying you cook it till it's cutty cutty, you know. Um, so that's like it. That's like the yama no yoni. You're kind of saying the way you do the verb is to achieve some kind of state. You could kind of say this is the goal when you yes. use need to modify verbs versus this is the way it's actually done. No way. Okay. Um, so koba kobashi uh make sure it's like this whole thing because uh well, kobashi is something else without the e. <laughs> um this this right here is scent chopsticks, <laughs> but kobashi oh the adjective means smells nice. I see. A nice aroma. So, kobashi. so yeah, you don't want to get them mistake. <laughs> Nice smell. Kobashi. Kobashi. Hi. Um, now you get to go read a line from our book. Uta no ah, oburi aburi niku wa kobashi ni oegashi kawa wa Kari kari ni yakete ita. Okay. All right. Two claws. Claws one. The okay. The aburi is um like marinated pork, right? Something Hi. like that. Something like that. Um. So the the mar the marinated meat pork pork meat. Uh, smell. Um, okay, so there's a good smell, but oi gashi is nioi. Nioi gashi, it had a good smell. Exactly, that's exactly what it's saying. It has a good smell, so we got good. The aroma a... is good, and then it's she because okay. that's the stem form of suru. And then it's she. Okay, suru continuing. Um, kawa. Kari kari ni yakete ta. It was grill. It was cooked to. Um, the skin is crunchy. So so. The skin. Perfect. Yeah, something the like cook, that. The cook, the cook. It was cooked till the skin was crunchy. Perfect. Yes. So yeah, we have she here. You can't really do te form here. That sounds a little weird. It has a good smell, so it must have been cooked till it was crunchy. Chotto hen. So this is an example where you cannot have te. But you can't have she. This is like a random put the stem form. Because whatever how like te and stem form are just slightly different. In a lot of cases, you can use either, but this is an example when you can only use the she. And you can't really use to here. That would also be weird. Because this is just a generic observation that are two random pieces of information about this. So one is that it smells good and that it's cooked to a nice crunch. Hi. Hi. And that is where we will stop for the day so that everything is all kind of set together. Yeah. Um, any questions before we go? Uh, no question. I've just realized it's about time I need to start making a vocabulary list. <laughs>